right, man, let's talk about Rod Wood, Lions president, uh, said that Cam Sutton was at the team facility when the news broke of his situation with DV strangulation. I didn't even mean that to rhyme. So he said that, you know, he was, uh, he was work at Allen Park working with the strength and conditioning staff. Um, and what's so funny about it was, but make sure you thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. You got Detroit Lions Talk playlist, more videos like this. What was so funny about it was, he said he actually was on the horn, was on the Zoom call with the league on a different matter when it popped up on his phone about Cam Sutton. He said, we learned about the stuff the same time y'all did. Now, a lot of people trying to figure out it was fake. One of the things I do before I do a video, I, I kind of research it. You know, number one thing when you're researching, especially in journalism, you got to get to the source of where the, where the rumor came from. So if you can find the source and it's a bullshit source, the internet is not that hard to do. You know, it's bullshit. But I started looking at the Twitter page and I'm like, okay, maybe it's a fake page. And I started looking. They used to, they had other, you know, posts for other, you know, citizens arrest warrants and stuff. And I looked and I told B. Teller, I said, that shit real. I said, that shit real. And obviously, conveniently for Lions fans, you know, Cam Sutton was one of the most hated dudes on the team from the fan base. But, you know, somebody pointed out a good point. Like, when he had the toe injury right around the Charger game, that's kind of when he started playing bad. You know, and really never recovered. So, but that's how most people looked at it. You know what I'm saying? And, um, excuse me. That's how most people looked at it. But, nonetheless, um, you know, they said he was working with the strength and conditioning team. He said they spoke to him and they told him that it was best for him to seek counseling. And I think he said, turn yourself in. And that was about two, three weeks ago. He still ain't turned himself in. He still ain't turned himself in. So, at the end of the day, what he scared for? You got cash to beat the charge. You know what I'm saying? Pay old girl that went through the everything. If you did it, pay her to shut the hell up. Don't cooperate. They still gonna pick it up, but it's still just a money grab. They ain't got no case without a cooperate witness or witnesses. Simple as that. But you running, you done made this thing far worse than they gotta be in what you done. You know, instead of call your lawyer, and arrange, uh, uh, you know, turn yourself in, you'd have made yourself guilty before the court of public opinion or the, the actual court of opinion. So he seeks some bad advice. You're scared you're going to go in and get right back out. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't like it's a murder rap or nothing like that or, or attempted. So what you so scared for? You know, Mike Thomas said, you know, in so many words, he reached out to him. Didn't deny or confirm that he talked to him, but we all insinuate that he talked to him. Like, turn yourself in, stop, you know. A lot of times it's better off just to jump in front of something. You know. A lot of, a lot of times it's better to jump in front of something. You know, and a lot of times when I tell myself, let me get in front of this before it get nasty. And that's the best thing you can do is just get get out in front. Just go ahead and get out in front of it, take care of it, resume your career, make sure it don't happen again. So whoever gave him advice, you know, or whatever, and you up here, you knew what happened, you knew what you did. Or allegedly did. So... Rod Wood made it very clear they didn't release him because of cap or money. They released him based off morality. And I'm like, oh, he's innocent. Well, he ain't acting like an innocent man. He acting like he guilty. You on the run. He act like he robbed a bank or he committed a murder. And maybe it's deeper than what we know. How the business? All right, let me get not the bread. Let me get in front of this. Let me get in front of this. Only way your career was over at, at a point if, if you totally, if they had it on video like Ray Rice. 
Now, if she got it on video and you doing doing something, then it, you know it's it's a wrap. It's a wrap. But so many of us men crash out over a woman. You have to be. You have to be able to check and control your emotions. Listen to me. A lot of us been there. What women like to do, and kids can do it too. They like to manipulate your, they like to press your buttons, manipulate your emotions. That's a woman's number one thing. They want to get a rise out of you. And once she know how to press those buttons to get a rise out of you, then she, she know it's a wrap. So when you are stoic and nonchalant, you really don't care what she's speaking about and they ain't paying no attention, she she can't she can't they can't fuck with you. You can't and you you become very dangerous when you're able to control your emotions as a man. You really become unstoppable, honestly. Because once you become stoic and uh, you know and not show your emotions and be able to keep everything in and every action, you don't have to give a reaction. You become dangerous. You see how good your life become with women once you learn to control your emotions. You know, on a platonic level, on a coworker level. On a, on a romance level, on a we just kicking it level. Watch, mark my words. Mark my words. If they make you feel that way where you gotta, you know, put your hands on somebody, then that, that ain't the one for you. Listen to me, that ain't the one for you, trust me. They gotta put your hands on you, that ain't the one for you. And I'm just keeping it, just keeping it a honey. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't the one for you. Oh, come on now, bro. <laughs> so remember that once you are able to be. Dog, what, what is this person I'm behind is doing, bro? Oh, this got to be the worst driver in Michigan. He got to be an old man. Or one old woman. Dude, it's literally just the yep, old man. But yeah, you gotta control them emotions, man. That get you in some trouble, bro. And if you know, and I ain't condoning or it's nothing, no legal advice. If a woman threaten to call the police on you or call the police on you, if you, you know, especially if you ain't in the wrong, man, it's it's over with, man. As soon as they say, she said, I'll call the police on you, man, in the relationship. You gotta go on child support. You gotta go on child support. Fuck it. It's better than going and losing your whole career and crashing out and losing your career. Listen to me. It's better than losing your whole career. As soon as a woman call the police or threaten to call the police, that relationship should be over with. Wife, fiance, baby mama, sister Tracy, mistress, whoever she is, that relationship should be 100% over with. Don't play them games. Don't play them games. Listen to me. Don't play them games. They say, I'm going to call the police. All right, it's over with. I care how good the head is or how good the box is. Real ones don't do shit like that. Unless it's an immediate threat to their life, as it doesn't matter. Listen to me. Real ones don't do that. A lot of women sit here and call the police, and you ain't did shit wrong. This to destroy you. So remember that. She said, oh, calling the police is over with. Ain't no if, ands, buts. She called the police is over with. Straight up and down. <laughs> but uh, I don't know what he doing. Whatever legal advice that he getting, he should have been turned himself in. But hey, check out Detroit Lions Talk Playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button is the bell icon button hit all notification increase your chance get notifications we go live or drop video financially want to support the channel cash app balance on cj good 313 venmo cj good 313 paypal link in the description appreciate the love support peace